Hey folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to our crazy farming simulator series. Alright, well I don't really know what this one's for then. If he only does a single row, maybe he's able to hold boxes or something? I don't quite know. But anyway, I do know from other people telling me that the premium expansion does look pretty cool, but... The main issues with the vegetables is they're really, really slow. There doesn't seem to be anything that kind of speeds it up, and there's very little in the way of um, machinery that allow. We've got vegetable technology, like this one here. It doesn't actually have any onboard storage. So you've got this one here that does cruise along, and it pulls the vegetables out of the ground. It's got a, a nice wide area there. But there's no actual onboard accumulation for these vegetables. You have to have something going down the side, which does make it a little bit more difficult. Now, we have got the working speed mod that we can use with this. At this moment in time, I'm probably not going to be doing anything with those. Um, we have got the beet technology that has been altered by a few people that does the multi-fruit, but... Still, at the moment, the multi-fruit ones is just the sugar beet and the potatoes. I don't know if it's even going to be possible to add those new crops into the existing machinery because obviously... Oh, there's the seed drills right there in front of me. It's right under my nose. Um, the main issue is that giants... Obviously, they're not going to want to give away their DLC. Right? They've got this new, brand new DLC. They don't want to just give the thing away, and so they keep the um, DLCs encoded, so you can't just extract them as mods like you can with the rest of the game. And that does mean that it's... Mm, I, well, I don't know. I don't know how the vegetables are going to work. Whether or not we can put the vegetables working on other machines and stuff or not... I'm not really sure. I'm going to try. I'm going to see if I can because I'd like this one to have the vegetable capacity, uh, the capabilities. And also I'd like to be able to harvest the vegetables a little bit faster than they can with just the, the, the base, uh, base game machinery that is there. But anyway, this field right here I was going to do as uh, soybeans. The one back over there is going to be sunflowers and the one over that way I think was going to be potatoes. So I do need to go and get those planted. I'm not going to worry about the new crops at all at the moment. I, Yeah, they're just going to be too slow. But I'm just waiting for this to fill up because we've got something else that I want to do first. While that one is filling up, I'm, this is uh, one machine that I haven't actually made any changes to yet. I have uh, made changes to a number of other things, but I haven't done anything to the milk lorry as of yet. And something else that I haven't done is put a milk bottling plant into the game yet I don't know if I've got one I certainly haven't done one with my cat treatment yet so that is also on my to-do list um, let's do that there and I'll fill up all the milk that we've got here uh, but what I have done is I've got a new cattle pen ready to go I didn't want to alter the one this base game uh, not the base game the one in the map here I just decided against that so, instead what I've done is I have made a new cow shed that I'm going to use, and this one here will be removed. So, we will just sell the animals out of here, and then we will buy them back in the new cow shed, and I'm hoping that that will be alright. And I was actually thinking that I don't want the new cow shed to be right there where that one is. We'll take that one out. We'll also remove the um, manure bunker that we've got over here. And instead, what I will do is I will build the new cow shed here. So this shed is going to be sold because this is actually a silage bunker. And we'll build the cattle shed there. And then we've got a bit more space for storing our machinery and stuff. And it's going to be easier to get our machinery in there as well. So we've got a few different things that we want to pick up. Move around. Uh, milk, I've got 1,000 litres left to go. So as soon as that is... All in. There we go. Right, there's all of that. So I'll close this one down and I'll run this one over to... I'm going to need to just turn around a minute. I'm going to run this one over to the uh, dairy that we've got at the moment. And I will 
later on. I need to level out that little bit of the yard right there. I will later on. We will get a milk bottling plant, I think. That's probably going to be the best way to do this. Because uh, I don't... I've said I don't want to be selling anything direct. So I'm wondering if there's any way I can deal with a whole load of eggs if I get a massive quantity of them. Um in a way that kind of fits with everything else that I want to do. I'm not quite sure yet. It's on my to-do list to deal with all of that. So this one can empty out into here. There we go. And we will shut that one off. Right. The milk is done. You over here, you have now taken all 70,000 litres of slurry out of there. I'm going to run this one over this way. And I'm going to tip that out into our new biogas plant over here. And it should now be able to, instead of doing everything slowly, it unloads quickly like that. But it should also do the opposite as well. It should also do the other bit nice and quick as well when it's tipping out the digestate that we got. So slurry over here. I want to activate that one. And I'm also going to activate the manure like that. And then I'm going to reverse that one over there bumping into stuff while I do it. I'm going to go and get this trailer and I'm going to run this one over and we're going to gather up the manure that is in that uh, manure pit that we've got there and then that one I will move to be a bit closer to the new uh, building that I'm going to put up. So we've got some shuffling around of stuff to do here in the yard. I've changed that one as well. You may have just noticed that one was altered ever so slightly so that it would empty out a bit quicker because I figured that once we get a little bit further down the line, we're going to want that to be able to empty out a lot faster. So I'll bring this one in over here. The Cat 10 version of this is like 22 million. I made this one really expensive because it has a potential to earn us a lot of money. Like, cows are our focus. I want thousands of cows on here, a minimum of a thousand cows. And that means that we're going to get a lot of manure and a lot of slurry, which means that we potentially are going to be making a vast sum of money out of this place uh, just from the biogas. And so that's the bit that I'm kind of um, not wanting to make really really easy as an easy source of money i'm just going to check one thing because what i have done is i got rid of there was a, a mod that i had that let me go to production um there was a mod that i had that allowed you to have uh, as like small bakeries and stuff but it had a whole load of extra things that you could uh, make and so therefore sell which took up space on the list of products that you can have on a map but that has now been removed completely so we've now got just the new stuff which is good this is what i want so let's go and have a look this way so we got the platinum expansion this is the sawmill right here with all the various different things that we can do um i haven't actually been doing anything with this but what I did find out with the um, platinum stuff, well, we didn't find out. What I have got somewhere is a mod that allows us to grow wood as we could in a greenhouse rather than in anything else. Uh, uh, like, so we do it in a greenhouse rather than having to go and harvest the wood. And I thought that might actually be pretty good because we could use some of these. And I've never actually used any of them. I've never actually made any of these things. So I thought that might be quite a cool thing to go and do. We'll have a look at that. So now we've got the premium expansion. I'm just going to have a look at the stuff that we've got. So we've got a bakery right here. Um, let's bring this down. Some of you, a lot of you will have already seen this from other YouTubers, but I just wanted to have a quick run through. So there's a bakery right there. We've got a new dairy here. I won't be using that one, although the bakery I kind of like the look of. So maybe we could use that one at some point, but maybe not in this series because it would need to be altered. There's a potato processing plant here. Potato processing gives you crisps. Um... I believe that you are American brethren and also the Canadians call these chips. I'm not sure if you call them the same in Australia. Um, but then you're... We call... So we call these crisps. 
And then what you call French fries, we call chips. Um, and we do actually have French fries as well. French fries are really uh, like um, small, perfectly square. They're formed. Chips are the ones that are just cut straight out of potatoes instead of being mashed up and then reformed to make uniform shape. Um, these are crisps that we're making right here. So uh, I'll be using my terminology. Then we've got the preserved food factory right here, which takes in the parsnips, the carrots, and the... Um, beetroot right there, red beet, depending where you're from. And so that just gives you the preserved vegetables. You then have the soup factory, which takes these and also potatoes. And it makes three set of uh, five, three, five separate products here. I think you've just got the tinned parsnips, tinned beetroot, tinned potatoes, and tinned carrots. And then I think that's a vegetable soup that combines all of them. Um, we have a spinnery, and that's it. So, kind of like the idea of making soup, if I can have another building that we can make the soup with and, and things like that, then uh, I will. I don't want to just use base game um, rates because it, it's too slow. It just, yeah, I, I don't want to do that. So, I've got the butter coat over here. I'm just going to have a quick look through and see if I've got any kind of milk bottling plant that we could use for our excess milk already, or if I've got to go and find one before I do more recording. It just occurred to me the easiest way to find out is to scroll down the list and see what we've got here. There is a lot of stuff from the last expansion. Armoire, barrel, bathtub, birdhouse, bowl, bucket, cart and roll, cat tree, chair, doghouse, easel, floor tiles, metal, paper roll. The metal is from uh, metal ores. I'm not quite sure how we would get that. But a lot of this stuff, the pepper grinder, picture frame, uh, long planks, prefab wall, shingle, staircase, a lot of this. I reckon that we could actually do something with this. I reckon that maybe we could bring that into this game. And then we've got the new stuff. So we've got triple soup, potato, red beet, parsnip, carrot soups. And then we've got the preserved vegetables as well. And then I have all the mod stuff. I've got a diesel factory there. There's also a cookie factory that we've got. So there's another one that I need to actually do at some point. And farm dairy right here. So I, that's raw milk there. So you take milk and there's also sugar. But uh, that farm dairy. So there's a cheaty farm dairy and a standard farm dairy. Let's just plonk the farm dairy down a minute. I know it's going to cost us another 10 grand. But we'll... Where can we put this one? We want to put this one down. Because I'm actually thinking that this might be a pretty good thing for us to go and use. I will obviously change it if I like the look of it. So we got 10,000 there. So there's milk that we can go and use. That we can put milk straight into that one and do something with it. There's another way to use up milk. I got the fish farming. That's another thing that I want to get and use. There's so many things that I actually want to use and try and do. Ah, uh, that was the other one, was the ice cream production. So I don't have actually enough money for the ice cream production right here. I've got already, uh, we've got the dairy. Oh, it's, um, yeah, I haven't got ice cream going here anywhere. What I have got is um, pancakes and donuts, but I don't have ice cream. There's donuts is there. Yeah, I don't have ice cream. Ice cream would use up a lot of milk if we could use it. That's 120,000 for that one. I want to see how much it uses. Oh, well, we can't do that for a minute. Let's have a look in here. There. Right. This one. Milk. One milk becomes one milk. It goes through. It has 4,800 cycles a month. So it uses 4,800 milk per month. We've only got 10,000 it goes in. And... Outgoing products, it doesn't even have a spawn for the outgoing products. That's troublesome. If I was to get rid of the cookies out of here, that might... Uh, I'm, I'm wondering if we just don't have enough room for everything at the moment. Cucumber, pepper. 
onion. If you don't have enough room for everything, like or all the different products that you can make, it starts to kind of like make the mods go a little bit strange. And I'm wondering if that is what has happened here with this one. Because raw milk, I've while I've got a recipe here, I don't have anything out here for the raw milk to actually go anywhere. Which would definitely be a problem. I'll have a look at that. I'm, I'm not going to worry about it at the moment. But that's something that we will look into. Right, I have moved that out the way. We've got... A raised area right here, which I don't like. This bit right here in front of this. I don't know how this is wound up being raised higher than the rest of it. So I'm just going to see if we cannot smooth that down. And it appears that maybe we can. So I don't know why that has ended up being higher than the rest of it. Maybe it's just like a flood guard to stop the slurry from overflowing. Could be. Stranger things have happened. So I'm just going to smooth that down a little bit, like that. There we go. That's looking a bit better. Right. And then we will go to... Well, it's not demolish, it's actually sell. Do you want to sell silage pit for 50,000? Yes, I do. Right. So the silage pit has been sold. Then I want to... Do you want to sell large hay shed for 8,000? Yes. Okay. And that slurry pit will stay where it is. Then I want to go over here and I want to sell this one for 1,500 because that one's really cheap. And there's nothing else that I want to sell there. So we need to come out of this for a minute. Then we want to go over to the animals over here. And take a look in here. So I've got... One bull in there. So I'm going to sell that one. And then I've got cows, cows and heifers. They're aged 20 months. The cows are 26 months. If we were to buy a cow, it's 22 months. So there's only two months off. So I'm going to just buy 25 cows as soon as we're done in here rather than trying to mess around with any of it but we will sell everything that we can right here a minute all right real life interrupted for a second uh we get fourteen thousand for selling those these here so we got 10 heifers as well those get us eleven thousand seven hundred and fifty and then we've got this five left here for another 7,000. So I'll sell that lot as well. Right. That's everything sold out of there. Then I'm going to go into here and I'm going to sell that one. 28,390. Bye-bye. And I've got a little bit more space in the yard. And our new cattle shed is going to go over here. So I'm going to go to animals. I'm going to go to cows over there. We've got Bally Spring mods. And one thing that I do like about Bally, the Bally Spring mods is... So we've got this cattle shed right here, which is the one that we've just gotten rid of. Uh, but there's some outdoor ones as well. So you've got that one. And then there's a bigger one. And then there's an even bigger one. And I, I rather like the fact that... You do have these and the area of land that they do take up. So whilst that is awesomely cool and it's very amazing and everything, it's not actually what I want. So we're going to scroll up through here to find the old stone cow shed. This one right here. And I'm sure you can all agree that something this kind of size is absolutely perfect for, as I don't know if you can see down here, 5,000 cows. It seemed to me to be a, a good fit. Now, if I've done everything correctly when I built this one, I actually want to... I'm going to try and put this one right here on this corner like this because I think that's going to look pretty cool. So pop that one there. It's actually raised up. Now, I don't know why it does that when you put that one down. It does raise it up a little bit. Uh, we're going to... No, first of all, we want to go to the sculpting. And I want that particular bit of sculpting. And I want to just kind of sculpt this back down again. Now smooth that out along the front. Smooth it out along this side. 
over here. Right, there's that bit. We'll probably do something else over here, so I'm not going to worry about painting any of that in at the moment. Um, but what we will now do is we'll go over this way. Uh, I do need to, before I go any further, I do want to get the uh, manure bunker that we had and put that one back in place. Which is this one here from the Bavarian pack. So that one has got to be in the one of the cardinal directions so i well i wouldn't want to put it too close here because this is where we empty out the food and everything else for the cows so it's it needs to be somewhere else but what i'm actually thinking is it might be better why is it doing that there we go right it might be better if if i can put it here just close to the slurry pit here that that would be absolutely brilliant i'll put it just to the side like that and I'll leave that one right there. I think that's going to be an excellent spot for it. It doesn't actually need to go any further than that. So we'll leave it there. Uh, that one right there. That will hold 4 million. I don't think the two are going to mess with each other. At least I'm hoping they won't. This one doesn't actually seem to work very well anyway. Um, we can go over to this side and we should, in theory, be able to extract slurry from over on this side. And if you have a look, we've got space of 5,000 cows as well as 21 million each of food, milk and straw and 40 million um, slurry in underneath there. So the big slurry pit that we've got back here. Now, I have tried previously when I was messing around with this map, to actually get rid of this pit. Um, and I couldn't. I couldn't uh, actually remove it from the map. Um, I don't know why. So I wasn't planning on doing anything else with it, but I was just wondering if I was able to interact with it in any way. There. Liquid manure extension tank. Small. Sell that one for 50,000. Yes. And it doesn't let me sell it. Like, I've said, yes, I want to sell it, but it doesn't actually sell it. It doesn't get rid of it. It keeps it there. And this is the weird thing about it. So I don't know why it does that, but it does. So it doesn't really matter. We'll, we'll leave that. And we want to go in here, and we want to buy one bull. Uh, there. Buy that bad boy right there. And then, uh, let me go in and... So if you go to here, and then you can open the door, and then you can go in and... Well, there should be a bull wandering around in there now. They don't come outside. They just stay inside the, the, the little barn. And we want cows here. And we're, go we're going with Holstein cows. So these, we're going to want 25. Oops, wrong way. 25 of these so that we end up with the same number that we had when we started off. So buy those. There we go. All right, so now I've got 26 of them. I don't have any food. It might be because i got no food in here that they're not very happy. So we will jump over to our tractor. Let me put this one I'm probably not gonna be using this one again so I don't know why I'm worrying about keeping it but I've got it here anyway Let's see if I can no I can't swing that around like that I'll stuff that back into the shed and then we've got a feeder right there the uh, well the, the the feed mixer that one has got a load of silage in it so we will hook that one on and then we run over to our cows and it will be the rate that this one unloads at, which is not particularly fast, but we will be able to get another one at some point. Now, in theory, I should just be able to go over here, close to it, and I should be able to unload. Doesn't seem to work. Unless I've got it. Do I need to change the side? Tip side. Oh, that's because I got the wrong side. Right, there we go, and it does, it, it, it immediately does. So we've got, I can start overloading the silage. And I shouldn't have to get too close to it in order for it to work. And it unloads at a sort of acceptable speed. 
That'll run into there. Dump everything in. And remember, it does hold 21 million litres, but we're not going to go for 21 million litres of silage in there. I don't want to do that. The cows have not yet appeared. It might be that we need a certain percentage of our 5,000 in order for them to appear. Um, to have this shed filled up, uh, you, uh, it only shows five animals in here anyway, so we're not going to get like loads of them showing up. Now, if I go there into cows, so they're on 0% health, and that might be why they're not showing up. I'm not entirely certain yet. And we could also do with a bit of straw in there, else we're not going to be getting our manure from it. But that's going to have to wait until the harvest. I'm not going to worry about it now. So that one I'm going to drop off there. We've now got our cows. They've been moved. And I really, really love the fact that we've got this gloriously tiny, tiny little shed here. And that's going to house 5,000 cows. At least that's the theory. That's the plan. That's what I'm hoping is going to happen. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. But looking forward to seeing if that does actually work. Our machinery is currently outside. And I did say in this series we would be keeping our machinery inside. So that is something that we're going to need to deal with. We're going to need to be putting machinery inside properly. Uh, I need to change this one over. So I'm going to do beans in this field. I'm going to do sunflowers down over there. And that field over there is going to be tatey pose. Sugarcane. Sunflowers, soybeans. Soybeans is going to go into this field right here. I think it's this way round that I need to be driving, isn't it? So we start you up. Lower you down. Yes, it is this way round that we need to be driving. And these fields here are not close enough to anything else for me to have to worry about uh, overlapping or anything like that. Well, no, they're not because we've got a river in between them down over there. So that's going to be fine. So just stay close to the edge all the way through. And I can go and plant these fields. So I'm going to get these fields planted a minute, I think. And then once this is done, we can then come back. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.